Welcome to the lecture on writing into the dark. Um, my name is Dean Wesley Smith and over the last 15 or 16 months I've written 16 or 17 novels into the dark without outlining any of them. Um, I have outlined in the past and I have done partial outlines and I've written a lot of novels into the dark. I have written well into the mid hundreds of novels now and um, um, so I know all the systems and all the different ways of writing books. I've been doing this for a lot of decades. So um, basically I had on my blog, I had a number of people say if they if I would do a lecture on writing into the dark. Mostly because there's lots and lots of ways and ways to learn how to outline. In fact, in two or three of the um, online workshops, I give you different methods of outlining. But as some person pointed out on my blog, nobody does a lecture on how to write into the dark. Um, and there are tricks and techniques to it. So here we go. That's what this is about. What is writing into the dark? Well, some people call it pantsing or something silly like that. I don't know. I, I don't use any of that term. That means by the seat of your pants, I guess. Someone had to explain that one to me. Um, being a pantster or something like that. Basically, writing into the dark means that you don't have an outline for the book ahead. You and your critical voice haven't created a path where the book is going to go to try to steer your creative voice. You're much better, in my opinion, letting your creative voice steer. So why is this process the, the preferred method for a lot of writers? Um, and you, you, as you lose fear about writing and about story and become more of a storyteller, you, you tend to go to this method more and more and more. And I'll give you lots of hints on how to do it, how to do it effectively here as we go on. But why do this? Well because it emulates the reading process. That's by and large, I mean, we're all readers. We all love to read. So when we pick up a book, we start into the dark on the book. Other than something on a blurb or something to give us an idea of, of where the book's going or even what genre it's in. Maybe you can tell with a genre because there's a spaceship on the cover or something. You know, you're reading into the dark. You don't know where the book is going. You're along for the ride of the process of reading. Okay, That's exactly what writing into the dark is. It absolutely mirrors and, and emulates this, the feeling of reading a book. Only it's not somebody else's book. It's the one that you and your subconscious are creating. You get to go along with the process of creating the book and get the same kind of thrill about reading the book and some of the uncertainties and all the other stuff we'll talk about. But the reason that this is the preferred method, the reason that preferred method for longtime professionals, I, I know of no longtime professional who's been around as long as I have who outlines anything. I mean, maybe George, um, I know George has lots and lots of, of where everything's going because he's got so many characters. George Martin, George is a friend of mine, George Martin. And, you know, because he's got so many characters that he's got that pretty well detailed out of where he's going because he has to just to keep track of everything. Um, you know, that was that's not the type of book you would write into the dark completely and totally. But, uh, uh, you know, most long term pros, especially prolific long term pros, just we all write into the dark yeah, because we love to read also. And it just is exactly the same feeling. We just make up stories. And we make up stories, and as we make them up, we put them down and then let readers read them, and we make up another story. It's great fun. It is just great fun. So, here we go. I'm going to start about a whole bunch of stuff as to what this is all about and why it gets some of the, all the aspects of where the problems come in, and then how to do it. How to do it. That's what this lecture is about. Writing into the dark, meaning basically... Writing without a plan, writing without an outline. How boring would it be as a reader as if in the front of a book someone gave you two or three page outline 
of the entire book, including the ending. Would you read the book? No. That's why so many writers early on, when they're outlining, find writing work instead of fun. It's because they already know where the book's going. They've already outlined it. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> go, go do something new. But there's no right way. There's no one way. This is just one of the ways, this writing into the dark. Back in a minute.